prayer. Nirarum kadalodutta nila madandai kedi lorugum. Sirarum vadana mena tigar barada kanta miti. Tekkanamum adil chiranda dravida nal tirnaadum. Takkasir pirai nudalum taritanarum tilagavume. Atilaga vasanai pola nai tulagum impa mura. Yeti sayum pogar manak iranda perum tamar tu dumi. Vartudumi Jaya Shri Rama Krishna Deva Jaya Jaya Mukile Jaya Shri Rama Krishna Deva Shandam Vadi Yumun Sanidhi Vandadum Sandeta Avina Shilingam Kalvi pera ve vidita, palkale karagat pada salayil palturai sada pan pat kalvi kanini arviyal thoril nutpam kalayan agilat varalatil avina shilinga pengal. Avinashi lingam, palkalai karagam, Arisu ulagil, variya, variya, variya ve. Welcome under us and report by the Vice Chancellor. Vanakkam, Namaste, Good Morning. Esteemed Chief Guest of the 35th Convocation, Honorable Chairman of the University Grants Commission, Prof. Jagdish Kumar, Respected Chancellor and Managing Trustee, Dr. TSK Meenakshi Sundara Mannavargal, respected assistant managing trustee, members of the trust, registrar, members of the executive council and academic council, controller of exams, finance officer, public relations officer, deans and directors, IQAC and other coordinators, assistant registrars, heads of departments, faculty members, administrative staff, honored graduates and their proud parents, other invitees, well-wishers, alumna, friends from media, ladies and gentlemen, once again, a very good morning to all of you. Today is the 35th convocation of the Avinash Lingam Institute for Home Science and Higher Education for Women, and it is with great delight and pride that I welcome you all to this blessed campus. The good will generated by all of you has placed us and motivated us to achieve more and more. And we look forward to this continuing cordial relationship with all of you. And I congratulate each of the graduates and their families. The great founders and architects of the institution, Dr. Ravinash Lingam Ayyavargal and Dr. Rajamal P. Devdas Amma Avargal, always believed in the threefold link between education, research, and community development. At the same time, it is true that at the heart of every esteemed academician and research scientist is the very noble persona of a teacher. I am very pleased to extend a hearty welcome to the chief guest of the day, Professor M. Jagdish Kumar, chairman of UGC, who is an erudite scholar, eminent scientist, savvy engineer, exemplary administrator, all rolled into one. But at the heart of it all, 
I think he prefers being a professor and a teacher. Hearty welcome to you, sir. Please allow me to present a very brief bio note on our chief guest. He is the recipient of the 2013 Award for Excellence in Teaching from IIT Delhi in the large class category and 2008 IBM Faculty Award in recognition of professional achievements. Honorable Chairman is also the winner of ISA VSI Techno Mentor Award instituted to recognize the contribution of distinguished Indian academicians and researchers. And he has also been awarded the IET Ramlal Vadwa Gold Medal for distinguished contribution in the field of semiconductor device design and modeling. All of us will recall with pride that only a couple of days back we did have the three facilities opened out for the country. Honorable Chairman's academic journey is witness to impressive accolades from eminent educational institutions. He's a product of IIT Madras, where he obtained his MS and PhD degrees, and University of Waterloo, Canada, where he pursued his postdoctoral research. His professional expertise has been proven time and again when as professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Delhi. He was also the Vice Chancellor of Jawaharlal Nehru University from 2016 to 2022. And he has an impressive track record of publications and 250 publications, as well as three books. He is a fellow of the Indian National Academy of Engineering, National Academy of Sciences, Institution of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineers. He is on the editorial board of several international journals, including IET Technical Review and IEEE Transactions. He is the chairman of the governing body of National Council of Science Museums, Ministry of Culture, and also the President General Council of National Assessment and Accreditation Council. On behalf of Sharada Laya, I extend a very warm welcome to you, sir. I would like to add that our graduates are indeed fortunate to receive their degrees from an academician of high caliber and a person who at the end of a very long list of achievements wants to be known as a teacher and professor. Hearty welcome, sir. I submit my humble salutations and welcome to our honorable chancellor, whose invaluable guidance and support is the beacon for our path to success. Hearty welcome to you, Anna. Today's convocation will witness the award of degree to 2,700 graduates, including 44 PhDs, 723 postgraduates, 1,900.
also had visit from the officials of the United States Department of State as well as the United Nations with the objective of fostering and strengthening academic collaboration in the areas of student exchange, women in STEM careers, as well as entrepreneurship development. In addition, we also organized an education fair where 17 US universities organized an exclusive education fair for our students, outgoing students. In terms of academic programs and initiatives, we have implemented the learning outcome-based curricular framework for undergraduate programs, and we have completed it for all the years, and we completed it this academic year, so that the entire program is now as per the LOCR. We have also introduced 10 different programs, eight at the UG level, one at PG level, and one at the PhD level. We propose in the next academic year to start a work-linked degree program, BBA in retail management with specialization in auto retail in partnership with Maruti Suzuki. We also are happy to inform that we have incorporated the Indian knowledge system as part of the curriculum in 10 of our departments as a six credit course each. Moving on to the innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem, we have been awarded a project under the Atal Community Innovation Center by the Niti Aayog. We have also established the following centers, Center for Communication and Soft Skill, IT, ICT, Design and Development Cell. A few more centers are in the pipeline, Center for Online Learning and Center for Continuous Learning. A total of 14 patents were granted during this academic year in the areas of medicinal plants, chemistry, sensors, innovative machinery, and computational sciences. Four of our patents have been published, and eight copyrights have been obtained in the areas of literary works, sound work, and cinematography work. There are 16 ongoing funded research projects, totaling to rupees 374 lakhs, sponsored by agencies such as Ministry of Coal, Indian Knowledge System, ICSSR, Indian Foundation of Arts, DST, uh, Technology Development Program, DBT, and 12 new project proposals have been submitted. In addition, in-house, we have granted 25 seed money projects and 31 minor research projects. In total, we have signed 29 MOUs with international and national agencies to foster collaboration as well as skilling. The highlight of the awards won by our research scholars, they make us proud all the time. The most recent one is in the Anvation 2023 Student Research Convention. We got the first prize under Agricultural Sciences category, first prize under Social Sciences, first prize under Interdisciplinary Research. <laughs> Similarly, in the Zonal Student Research Convention, we got the first rank under the Basic Science category, and we also won Youth to Entrepreneurship idea -thon. And in terms of the faculty not to be left behind, faculty have made us proud with the 129 publications, including Scopus Index, WOS Index, as well as UGC Care Listed. One of the continuing capacity building that we do at Avinash Lingam Institute is through the AIU-sponsored Academic and Administrative Development Center. We have conducted eight short-term programs, and 996 participants have benefited out of these continuous capacity building. Some of the 
Faculty awards includes best teacher in economics citation and the research, winning of the research cancer hackathon and best management faculty award. In addition, our faculty have been very active in sports. So in the Tamil Nadu State Masters Athletics 2023, we had one gold, silver, and bronze medal each. Also, in the state level sports and games for faculty, we won 17 gold, five silver, and one bronze medal. Our students have been recipients of prestigious awards as well as scholarships. 289 students benefited from the Pudumai Print Scholarship announced by the Tamil Nadu government, and 20 more are recipients of the PhD full-time scholarship, more students under JRF, a National Fellowship for OBC candidate, National Fellowship for SC, Inspire Fellowship, and ICSSR Fellowship. The latest trend that seems to be going at Avinash Lingam Institute is any time a hackathon is announced, we don't have one team but many teams participating, and we seem to sweep away all the awards and medals that are there. So happy to announce that we, are, we have the national level record holder award. We also have the winner of the Smart India Hackathon organized by AICTE by at least five students. And one of our students recently got the Speak for India award with a cash prize of two lakh and 50,000. As far as sports for students is concerned, we have been doing consistently well in the state level Silambam tournament, the junior state do judo tournament, and recently in the in Kelo India Women's Kickboxing League, we won the overall trophy as well as 13 gold medals six silver medals, and three bronze medals. All of us know that ours is the one of the very few universities to have two NCC units, and both our NCC unit ANOs have made us proud. One has been promoted from captain to major, and the other one has got an appreciation certificate for her work not to be left behind. The students have been routinely part of the Republic Day Parade, the State Republic Day Camp at the Marina Grounds, Ek Bharat Shresh Bharat Camp, Tal Sainik Camp, Vayu Sainik Camp, and many more. NSS, as I already mentioned, did a world record event, but in addition, our NSS volunteers conducted the survey among 2,400 households in the 26 adopted villages as part of the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports NEET survey. We also conducted the Vanumahotsav as well as the Each One Teach One during the International Literacy Day. Amrit Kala Shiyatra again takes the highlight for the Mitti collection and distribution, and we conducted this in all the 26 villages, adopted villages of NSS. I would like to briefly mention how our institute has been proactively implementing the national education policy. As a first step towards implementation of national education policy, we prepared the Vision 2040 document, an institutional strategic plan that is aligned with the NEP and the Sustainable Development Goals. This has certainly paved a way to achieve short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals. In addition, an NEP cell has been constituted with 20 quality reforms committee so that Many different aspects of the NEP are 
focused upon and given due attention. Some significant milestones in our NEP implementation is, I already mentioned how LOCF has been implemented completely, we, and as well as the introduction of IKS, happy to inform that we have adopted and implemented the Academic Bank of Credits. 7,213 students have been enrolled, and we facilitated them to register in the Academic Bank of Credits. In addition, we have added and now our value education courses stand at 124. We have 52 professional certificate course. We have the Guru Dakshita and Diksharam for the incoming students and the newly inducted faculty members. Internship is now mandatory in our curriculum and we have introduced 35 multidisciplinary courses. Dear graduates, probably this is one day where you need to sit a little longer to listen to all our lengthy speeches, but I am going to give you a very, very cryptic message. The cryptic message is one yes, one no. Okay? I want you to think about it. What is this one yes and one no? In life, we are faced with choices, but it is up to us to embrace what is positive and to reject what is negative. So you say yes to the positivity and no to the negativity. When should we adopt this mantra? Right now. You are at a momentous moment in your life. So why not take the mantra saying, when I move forward in the world, I will choose my yes and no according to what is right and wrong. But keep taking it as you move forward in life. How to take it? It doesn't require any of us to tell you this is right and this is wrong. We have given you the knowledge. We have given you the values. Now it is up to you to introspect and say, let me decide for what things I would say yes and for what things I would say no. Finally, why is this one yes and one no required? Because so far, you have been in a very protected environment. As you move into the world, we want you to have a bed of roses. But should it turn otherwise, we want you to hold firm with the values that you imbibe here so that you can say, I decide when to say yes, when to say no, what to embrace, what to reject. When you say that, your life may not be rosy, but your life would certainly be meaningful and you will live it on your terms. So we have striven to give you a very rich academic experience. So now don't think by wearing this robe and walking out, you have walked out of our institute. This will remain your home and we will always welcome you with open arms, open hearts. May your journey ahead in life be infused with purpose, with passion and fulfillment so that you remain contented all the time. Nandri Jaihin. Honorable Chancellor, I have the honor to request you, sir, to declare the convocation open and deliver the presidential address. Thank you.
ஆனரபிள் சீஃப் கெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த டே ப்ரொஃபஸர் எம் ஜெகதீஷ் குமார் வைஸ் சான்சலர் ரிஜிஸ்ட்ரார் ட்ரஸ்டீஸ் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸிகூட்டிவ் கவுன்சில் கண்ட்ரோலர் ஆஃப் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஃபினான்ஸ் ஆஃபீஸர் பிஆர்ஓ டேரக்டர்ஸ் டீன்ஸ் ஆஃப் வேரியஸ் ஸ்கூல்ஸ் ஹெட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி மெம்பர்ஸ் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேட்டிவ் ஸ்டாஃப் மீடியா பர்சனல் பேரண்ட்ஸ் வெல்விஷர்ஸ் அண்ட் கிராஜுவேட்ஸ் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு பிகிட் பை எக்ஸ்டெண்டிங் மை ப்ளெஸ்ஸிங்ஸ் அண்ட் கன்க்ராச்சுலேஷன் டு ஆல் த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஹூ ஹவ் ரீச்டி திஸ் க்ளோரியஸ் மைல் ஸ்டோன் இன் தேர் அகடமிக் ஜெர்னிஸ் வித் த கிரேஸ் ஆஃப் காட் அண்ட் த ப்ளெஸ்ஸிங்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் ஃபவுண்டர் சான்சலர் டாக்டர் டி எஸ் அவனாசிலிங்க மையா அவர்கள் ஓஆஸ் தி ஃபஸ்ட் எஜுகேஷன் மினிஸ்டர் ஆஃப் தி மெட்ராஸ் பிரசிடென்சி அண்ட் த பத்மபூஷன் அவார்டி ஐயா அவர்கள் சர் நோபல் விஷன் டு எம்பவர் உமன் த்ரூ எஜுகேஷன் வாஸ் எபிளி அசிஸ்டட் பை டாக்டர் ராஜபால் பி தேவதாஸ் ஏ ரினவுண்டு நியூட்ரனிஸ்ட் அண்ட் பத்மஸ்ரீ அவார்டி ஃபார் மோர் தென் சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் திஸ் டெம்பிள் ஆஃப் லேர்னிங் ஹேஸ் பீன் அட் த ஃபோர் ஃப்ரண்ட் சார்டரிங் நியூ பார்ட்ஸ் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷிங் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் கனெக்டிங் தி வைப்ரண்ட் கல்ச்சர் அண்ட் வேல்யூ சிஸ்டம்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் கண்ட்ரி வித் திஸ் இம்பேக்ட்ஃபுல் டெனட் ஆஃப் மாடர்ன் எஜுகேஷன் த ப்ரோக்ரஸிவ் ஸ்ட்ரைட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன் இஸ் எவிடன் இன் த ரிமார்க்கபிள் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்மேஷன் ஆஃப் த டெமோக்ரஸி எஸ்பெஷலி தட் ஆஃப் கோயம்புத்தூர் அண்ட் சரௌண்டிங்ஸ் ஏரியா தட் ஹவ் விட்னஸ்டு லேக்ஸ் ஆஃப் உமன் கிராஜுவேட்ஸ் பிகமிங் காம்பெட்டட் இன் போத் தேர் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் அண்ட் பர்சனல் லீவ்ஸ் ஃபோர்த் ஃபார்தர் மோர் மெனி ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் குலாபரேட்டிவ் ரிசர்ச் அண்டர் டேக்ஸி ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி அவார்ட்ஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அச்சீவ்மெண்ட்ஸ் இன்ஃப்ராஸ்ட்ரக்சரல் க்ரோத் அண்ட் அகடமிக் எக்ஸ்பென்ஷன் ஹேவ் கான்ட்ரிபியூட்டட் டு தி சிக்னிஃபிகன்ட் க்ரோத் ஆஃப் த இன்ஸ்டியூஷன் சின்ஸ் இட் இன்செப்ஷன் இன் நைன்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி செவன் ஆஸ் சுவாமி விவேகானந்தா சேட் வி வாண்ட் தட் எஜுகேஷன் பை விச் கேரக்டர் இஸ் ஃபார்ம்டு ஸ்ட்ரென்த் ஆஃப் மைண்ட் இஸ் இன்க்ரீஸ்டு தி இன்டலெக்ட் இஸ் எக்ஸ்பெண்டட் அண்ட் பை விச் ஒன் கேன் ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆன் ஓன் ஒன்ஸ் ஓன் ஃபீட் இந்தியன்ஸ் ஆர் மேக்கிங் தேர் பர்சன்ஸ் ஃபில்ட் அக்ராஸ் தி வேர்ல்டு இன் வேரியஸ் ஃபில்ட்ஸ் ஆஸ் யூ வாக் அவுட் ஆஃப் த போர்ட்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் யுவர் அல்மா மேட்ரு யூ என்டர் எ வேர்ல்டு ரீப்ளேட் வித் த வெல்த் ஆஃப் பாசிபிலிட்டிஸ் ஃபார் அ பிரைட் ஃபியூச்சர் மேக் இட் ஃபார்ட் யுவர் லைஃப் இஃப் யுவர் ஒர்க் இஸ் மோட்டிவேட்டட் ஒன்லி பை பே அண்ட் பவர் த குவாலிட்டி த இம்பேக்ட் பிகம் ஸ்லோ இன்ஸ்ட் இலிமினேட் யுவர் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் வித் த ஸ்பிரிட் ஆஃப் டெடிகேஷன் அண்ட் டியூட்டி இட் பிகம்ஸ் நோபிள் the spirit of service and the coming together of akarmiya industry and administration for the betterment of the society is transformation that will propel propel our country to greater heights dear graduates i urge you to cultivate valuable and selfless objectives in life heartily con- congratulations once again may god be with you on your new journey wishing all of you a happy healthy and prosperous life and success in future end of us thank you <coughs> the 35th convocation of the avanasalingam institute for home science and higher education for women has been called to confer the degrees of doctor of philosophy master of science master of Communi- computer application master of social work master of arts master of business administration master of commerce master of education master of engineering bachelor of science arts commerce bachelor of Bus- business administration bachelor of education bachelor of vocation bachelor of engineering post graduate diploma upon the candidate who have been declared successful in the various examination held from may 2023 to march 2024 i declare the convocation open <coughs> professor m jagadish kumar honorable chairman ugc new delhi i request you to kindly deliver the convocation address
Thiru Meenakshi Sundaram, Chancellor of the University, Professor Bharati Hariharan, Vice Chancellor of the University, the academic administrators, faculty members, invited dignitaries, my dear students and their parents. It gives me immense pleasure to stand in front of you, particularly so because Avinash Lingam Institute has been serving a national cause of serving young people like you. Many of you may be first generation learners. Many of you may be coming from different socio-economic backgrounds. But having gone through the high quality education provided in this institution, you are now ready to venture into the world and contribute. It's a matter of pride to all of you to be graduating from this great institution. My congratulations to all the graduating students and my best wishes and congratulations to the award winners. My dear friends, when I was coming from Delhi to Coimbatore, inside the flight, I saw a five-year-old girl running around in the plane and on her T-shirt, a small statement was written. The whole world is for you to explore. And that is what it is for you now. With the skills and knowledge that you have gained, there are immense opportunities for you to explore. And let me tell you why. Recently, on last Monday, India launched Agni-5. It is a missile which has immense capabilities. It is a multi-target, independently targetable re-entry vehicle it can reach 5,000 kilometers. And this is developed by Sheena Rai. She is a project director in DRDO. And when we put the Chandrayaan on the south pole of the moon, it was led by nearly 100 women scientists and engineers. It is this team which decided where Chandrayaan has to be placed, has to be landed on the south pole of moon. My dear students, when I said the whole world is for you to explore, today in India, nearly 20% of the entrepreneurs are women. <laughs> India today is the third largest ecosystem for the startup companies. And nearly 10% of those startup companies are established by women. That is why there are immense opportunities for you. And if you want to succeed, 
in your life access to high quality education is of immense importance and that is why institutions such as yours play an important role in building the future of our nation i am very glad to inform you that during the last 10 years the number of female students in higher education it climbed up from 1.57 crores to 2.07 crores in stem areas we often say that the female student participation is not very high but today in all stem programs in higher education we have nearly 40% of the students who are females and this is a world record nowhere in the world 40% of the female students are in the stem area during last 10 years in the phd programs the increase in the number of female students joining in the phd program has gone up by 107% so you can see that you have immense potential it is for you to explore and demonstrate your capabilities use your capabilities in the nation building let me give you the bigger picture of what is happening and how you can play a role if you look at globally there are many challenges as youngsters you are familiar with some of those challenges for example the geopolitical instabilities that are happening across the globe the wars that are taking place between the countries the supply chain disruptions that are happening you know what is happening in the red sea the unstable economic systems the growing inequalities and you also know the deteriorating environment across the globe we are struggling to keep the average global temperature below the rise in the average global temperature below 1.5 degrees centigrade as compared to the pre industrial average temperature we have already breached those limits and we have issues related to climate change and then issues related to the lack of opportunities for women this is on a global scale but on the other hand if you look at india today india is the youngest nation in the world india is the fastest growing economy and in next few years coming years we will become the third largest economy few days ago in our country our honorable prime minister launched three fabrication facilities for chip making today 25% of the chip designers are from india are of indian educated workforce why can't we also be chip manufacturers a global hub for the chip manufacturing in the world today we have built the best digital public infrastructure in the world during g20 when the digital public infrastructure repository was prepared when 53 digital public infrastructure apps were presented 19 of them are from india it is only because young people like you can design and maintain this digital public infrastructure 
and look at the financial inclusivity that we have created in our country even though somebody from a rural area may not be able to read but they can use our upi to make payments 40% of the online global financial transactions are taking place from india that is the capability of india today during g20 presidency india has proved to the world that we are the consensus builders of the world in spite of the conflicts that are taking place globally today people look forward towards india what india is saying what india is doing for the precise reason that india is home to nearly 20% of the global population what we do what solutions we find to overcome the challenges that we have the whole world is looking at us because our solutions can also become a template for the rest of the world lot of foreign delegations come to us and meet us to know what is happening in india in the educational arena when i tell them how the educational governance is integrated with the digital technology through such platforms as the academic bank of credits or swayam or the recently launched swayam plus platform people wonder why we should not have similar such digital platforms my dear friends you are all lucky that you are born in our country at such a time in the history of our country that you can make immense contributions through your skills and competencies and ensure that there is inclusive development in our country as i said nearly 60% of our indians still live in the rural areas and many of you come from the rural areas and we have seen how difficult it could be for people who are living in the rural areas unless we provide them multiple economic activities and that is possible only through good quality education by providing them appropriate skills universities such as yours can play a significant role in reaching out to such youngsters and providing them appropriate skills so that they can have access to multiple economic activities we must collectively work to make sure that our youngsters who come from socio economically weaker backgrounds are empowered and digital technology can play a significant role here we are encouraging many universities <coughs> to adopt online education you are all privileged lot you are able to join in this great institution and study but for each one of you there could be multiple number of our young students who are dropping out of the schools who are dropping out of the colleges for various reasons financial reasons family reasons health reasons and so on is it not our responsibility to reach out to them and 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 play an important role in this by developing new technologies by creating new digital content and reaching out to these young people and making sure that all of us we grow together to make our country a fully developed country by 1947 my dear students 
when you go out of the world you will see that the world is non ideal for many years you have been under the care of your teachers under the care of your parents but when you go out and see that the world is non ideal there are many challenges that you need to navigate through in order to become a successful person in whichever profession that you choose to uh, work you must build that resilience to face failures in your life learn from this from the failures that come on your way and move forward one of the biggest problems that we have today is the stress that our young people undergo the anxiety our young people undergo which affects your cognitive abilities which affects your ability to perform to the fullest of your potential my dear friends please focus on yourself try to find out what is your inner potential and build your future on your inner potential don't try to imitate somebody else each one of you is a unique person each one of you have unique potentials recognize those potentials and build on them so that you reach the goals that you have set for yourself i would like to urge you to be lifelong learners as technologies are evolving new competencies are required new skills are required to remain with your own job or to look for new opportunities and there are immense opportunities that are created for you to be lifelong learners within our own country recently we have launched a new platform called as swayam plus and this swayam plus will have digital content developed by many large corporations entities and industries these courses will be available to you at a very very affordable cost and even if you are working you can access these courses and build on your existing skills the bottom line for all of you should be to be lifelong learners my dear friends technology is also making us too self centered we know the implications of that but ultimately we can create a future that all of us want which is sustainable healthy secure and peaceful only when we prevent ourselves from becoming curiosity driven pleasure seeking human animals we must create abundance not scarcity abundance of love abundance of affection abundance of cooperating with each other helping in each other growing together and you have those capabilities as young people think for yourself where you would like to be in the next 10 years next 20 years plan appropriately and have the perseverance to achieve your goals as i said in the morning when i was talking to a group of students michael jordan who is a great player he said i missed 9000 times balls in my career i lost in 300 games i failed again and again and again and that is why i succeeded never be afraid of failures my dear friends i also would like to tell you that you should have your own independent thinking don't try to become a conformist be a person who questions the status quo be a critical thinker question the authority when i say if your teacher comes and explains a theorem which has been used for last 50 years 
question it. If there is a textbook that your teacher is following, question the contents of the textbook. Only when you question, only when you become a critical thinker, you can generate new ideas. And that is the only path to become a creative person. And when you are a creative person, if you add values to, if you add value to your ideas, then you become an innovator. You need to continue to be a curious person, a lifelong learner, a creative person, and an innovator throughout your life and through your contributions collectively we can achieve the dream of making our country a fully developed country. I would like to convey my congratulations once more to all of you and wish you all the best in your future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Professor M. Jagadish Kumar, Honorable Chairman, UGC New Delhi. I have the honor to request you, sir, to award the medals up to the students who have secured first rank in the examination. I have the honor to present and to you the following PG and UG candidates for the award of the medals. The list of PG and UG candidates for the award of the medals will be read out. The candidates will come uh, to the dais one by one. Steema, the Jaya Murugeshan Award, Interior Design and Resource Management, Dasni Musa. Uh, Alamelu Narayanan Award, Food Service Management and Dietetics, Nikita. Srimadhi Narayani Rama Warrior Award, Food Science and Nutrition, Kavya. Saraswati Award, Textiles and uh, Apparel Designing, Sneha. Janakamal Award, Human Development, Somia. Janakamal Award, Human Development, Saumia. Sri O.P. Narula Award, Rural Development and Sociology, Swati. T.S. Avinash Lingam Award, Chemistry, Ilavarasi. Srimadhi T.M.S. Muthamal Award, Zoology, Amaradipa. Amaradipa. Srimadhi Pangajamal Award, Botany, Priyanga D. Sri Nalayapan Janikiyamal Award, Physics, Sveta, Swati, J. 
ஸ்ரீ ராமசாமி நாயுடு அவார்ட் மேத்மெட்டிக்ஸ் தி தீப்சிகா ஸ்ரீமதி சுபா ஞானதுரை ரமேஷ் அவார்ட் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் சஃபா ஃபாத்திமா ஸ்ரீதயம் ராஜேந்திரன் அவார்ட் சைக்காலஜி அனுசுயா ஜே ஸ்ரீ ராய சொக்கலிங்கம் அவார்ட் தமிழ் பவித்ரா ஏ ஸ்ரீ சி கே குமாரசாமி கவுண்டர் அவார்ட் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் தீபிகா இ ஸ்ரீமதி சி ஷியாமலா சிவானந்தம் அவார்டு இங்கிலீஷ் அபிதா ஹெச்பி ஸ்ரீ ரோஷ்னால் குப்தா அவார்டு ஃபங்க்ஷனல் ஹிந்தி கே பவித்ரா ஸ்ரீமதி பவானி சிவராம பிள்ளை அவார்டு மியூசிக் ஸ்ரேதா சி ஸ்ரீமதி எஸ் மங்கேர்கரசி அவார்ட் காமர்ஸ் அஸ்மிதா எஸ் ஸ்ரீமதி சரஸ்வதி துரைசாமி அவார்ட் பிகாம் கம்ப்யூட்டர் அப்ளிகேஷன் தாமரை செல்வி ஆர் ஸ்ரீ ஓபி நருலா அவார்ட் பிகாம் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் அக்கௌண்டிங் ஜென்சி எம்பி ஸ்ரீ இதயம் ராஜேந்திரன் அவார்ட் பிபிஏ டூரிசம் ஜெமிலா எம் ஸ்ரீ ஆர் ராமாராவ் அவார்ட் விஷுவல் கம்யூனிகேஷன் முஸ்னூரி ஸ்ரீலேகா ஸ்ரீ கே எஸ் விஸ்வநாதன் அவார்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் டெக்னாலஜி துர்கா நந்தினி எஸ் ஸ்ரீ அகமட் கான் அவார்ட் ஃபிசிஷியன் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ரேஷ்மா ஸ்ரீ என் வி பவுலோஸ் நாடக்கல் அவார்ட் இன்டீரியர் டிசைன் அண்ட் ரிசோர்ஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஹஷ்னா ஃபாத்திமா டி டாக்டர் ராஜமால் பி தேவதாஸ் அவார்ட் ஃபுட் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் நியூட்ரிஷன் சரண்யா எஸ் மேனன் ஸ்ரீ எஸ்ஆர்பி சேரிட்டிஸ் அவார்ட் டெக்ஸ்டைல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபேஷன் அப்பரல் தீபிகா இஎம் ஸ்ரீமதி அருள் செல்வி திரவியம் அவார்ட் ட்ரஸ்ட் ஹியூமன் டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஷாகின் ஃபாத்திமா என் டாக்டர் கமலா ரங்கநாதன் அவார்ட் பயோ டெக்ஸ்டைல்ஸ் ஆஷ்மின் ஃபாத்திமா பி ஸ்ரீ டி ஏ ராமலிங்க செட்டியார் அவார்ட் எக்ஸ்டென்ஷன் அண்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் கதி திவ்யா ஸ்ரீ சி வி முல்க் அவார்ட் மாஸ்டர் ஆஃப் சோஷியல் ஒர்க் விபிஷா எம் ஸ்ரீ வீரண செட்டியார் அவார்ட் பயோகெமிஸ்ட்ரி தீபி தீப்தி ஸ்ரீ ஆர்
ஸ்ரீமதி நிர்மலா கே மூர்த்தி அவார்ட் பயோடெக்னாலஜி கிரேஸ் சுகந்தி ஜே ஸ்ரீமதி ஜானாபாய் கிரி அவார்ட் பயோ இன்ஃபர்மேட்டிக்ஸ் தீக்ஷிதா பாபிஸ்தா ஸ்ரீமதி லக்ஷ்மி என் மேனன் அவார்ட் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி காயத்ரி பி சி வி ராமமூர்த்தி அவார்ட் ஜுவாலஜி அனுப்பமா கே எஸ் ஸ்ரீ பி ஜேக் அவார்ட் ஜேக் அவார்ட் பாட்னி வசந்தா லக்ஷ்மி ஆர் ஸ்ரீமதி நல்லையப்பன் பெரியண்ணன் அவார்ட் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் சுமித்ரா எஸ் ஸ்ரீ என் என்எம்ஆர் சுப்பிரமணி அவார்ட் மேத்மெட்டிக்ஸ் சவிதா சயின்ஸ் திவ்யஸ்ரீ எஸ் ஸ்ரீமதி சுபா கான ஞானதுரை அவார்ட் கம்ப்யூட்டர் அப்ளிகேஷன் எம்சிஏ பூஜா ஜி ஸ்ரீ கே எஸ் ராம ராமசாமி அவார்ட் தமிழ் சுபலா கே ஸ்ரீமதி ராஜமால் அவார்ட் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் வர்ஷினி என் ஸ்ரீமதி வள்ளியம்மை அவார்டு இங்கிலீஷ் சுபலக்ஷ்மி ஜி டாக்டர் டி எஸ் அவினாஷ்லிங்கம் அவார்டு ஹிந்தி அண்ட் ஜேர்னலிசம் ஈஸ்வரி ஏ எம் பெருமாள் அவார்ட் பிசினஸ் அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் தனலக்ஷ்மி ஆர் எம் அம்பிகை வேலு அவார்ட் எம்பிஏ ஐடி பைனான்ஸ் அனுசு அனுசுவை எஸ் ஸ்ரீ கே ரவிக்குமார் அவார்ட் எம்பிஏ ஐடி சிஸ்டம்ஸ் அக்ஷயா எம் கலாவதி அவார்ட் எம்பிஏ ஐடி சந்தியா ஆர் மாஸ்டர் எஸ் ஆர் சங்கீத் ராஜ் அவார்ட் எம்பிஏ ஐடி ஹியூமன் ரிசோர்ஸ் சுஸ்மிதா இடி ஸ்ரீ டி எஸ் தண்டபாணி செட்டியார் அவார்ட் அப்ளைட் சைக்காலஜி ரேகா எஸ் கே ஸ்ரீ ஆர் ஏ எம் குப்பா எம்ஆர் அவார்ட் எம் காம் கம்யூட்டர் பிரியங்கா கே டாக்டர் பி சுசீலா டூரிசம் டிராவல் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் மா பழனிசாமி அவார்ட் காமர்ஸ் சபிதா வி டாக்டர் விஜயலட்சுமி புருஷோத்தமன் அவார்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் டெக்னாலஜி சரிகா ஜே ஸ்ரீ டி எஸ் கோவிந்தராஜன் அவார்ட் கிளினிக்கல் சைக்காலஜி ஹர்ஷனா கே என் Faculty of Education Undergraduate. Sri Ramakrishna Avad, Kannada Vidya Vidyalaya, Kannada Vidyalaya, Kannada Vidyalaya, Kannada Vidyalaya, Kannada Vidyalaya, Kannada Vidyalaya, Kann
Shri Edward Devadas Award Overall General, Anaga MR. Shri R. Subramaniam Award Practical e Beard, Madhumita N. Shri K.S. Krishnaraj Award Special Education Overall, Janarajan Ranji P.N. Srimadhi Malini Leon Award, Special Education and Mathematics, Janaranjani P.N. again. She here? Uh, okay. Srimadhi uh, M. Ch Chandramani Award, Special Education, Practical, Madhumita S.L. Srimadhi Bhavani, Sivaram Pillai Award, Physical Education, Cecily Funia, Angel D. Srimadhi Annamma Cheriyan Award, Physical Education, Darshini Sri. Faculty of Education Postgraduate, C. R. Subramaniam Award Overall General, Bhuvaneshwari D. Dr. M. Chandramani Award Special Education, Madhumita R. Srimadhi Malini Lionel Award Special Education, Nithya R. Faculty of Engineering Undergraduate. Srimadhi Rajamal P. Devadas Award Biomedical Instrumentation Engineering. Piriyadashni R. Srimadhi Saumya Lakshmi Award Computer Science and Engineering. Sri Harshini N. Srimadhi Rajamal P. Devadas Award Electronics and Communication Engineering, Jeevita T. Chennai Alumni Award, Food Processing and Preservation Technology, Pooja G. CVK Hyder Khan Award, Printing Technology, Akshaya B. Dr. T.S. Avinash Lingam Award, Mathematics, Dasnim Nigar, I. Dr. T.S. Avinash Lingam Award, Computer Science, Dharani M. Srimadhi Sita Padmanabhan Award, Food Technology, Nandini. Yourself only. Yourself, okay. Dr. E. Balagurusami Award, Data Science, Kalai Arasi, I. Bachelor of Vocation, B. Walk undergraduate. Uh, MC Madhavan Award Food Processing and Engineering. Adi Shakti, yes. Srimadhi, yes. Saraswati Award Medical Equipment Technology. Bharati, yes. 
Dr. T. S. Avinashlingam Award, Textile Dyeing and Printing, Shalni S. Dr. S. Avinashlingam Award, Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, Vaidishwari S. Self-financing courses, Srimadhi, TSB, Dhanalakshmi Award, English, Selva Darshani D. Dr. R. Ramanujam Award, Commerce, Gayatri K. Dr. T. S. Avinashlingam Award, Mathematics, Dasnim Nikar I. Dr. T. S. Avinashlingam Award, Computer Science, Dharani M. Dr. T. S. Avinashlingam Award, BCom Professional Accounting, Rindia R. Dr. T. S. Avinashlingam Award, English, Kirtana B. Medal winner not attending ceremony in person. Dr. Edward Devadas Award, B.Sc. Biochemistry, double major. Nongtham uh, Josirani Devi. Uh, P.S.K. Muthi Award, B.Sc. Biotechnology, the same person. Uh, C.A.N. Ishwaran Award, Ms. Uh, M.Sc. Uh, Food Service Management, Dietetics. Salam Renuka Devi. C.R. Ramarav Award, B.E. Civil Engineering. Saguntala Padi uh, Risika. Master K. Vivek Award, Bachelor of Computer Applications, Sveta R. Dr. T. S. Avinash Lingam Award, Award, B.A. Psychology, Dhanushri. Dr. T. S. Avinash Lingam Award, M.Sc. Mathematics, Renuka K. Thank you. Let the candidates be now presented for PhD degrees of the schools. Res respected Chancellor, I have the honor to present unto you the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the respective degrees. It went. A total of 44 PhDs may be admitted into their respective schools. I request the candidates to come to the dais as I read out the names and receive the degrees. Food Science and Nutrition, Pragadeshwari R. Soundarya S. Home Science Extension in Education, Dikshida Datta and Kashmiri Saikya. Resource Management, Sophia Janet J. Food Service Management and Dietetics, Vinita Antony. Textiles and Clothing, Tamari Silvi. Human Development, Ubashri Datta. Biochemistry, Amsa D. Aishwarya V. Swati K. Botany, Silpa M. Pinky Rai King. Zoology, Nitya R. Phys Physics, Swati R, Basanti L, Vinodini J.
from chemistry, Akila C. From physics, Swati R will receive now. Vasanthi L, physics. Vinodini J, Physics. From Chemistry, Shanmogapriya M. Jeevita M, Chemistry. Akila C, Chemistry. Abhinaya A. Chemistry. From Computer Science, Shiny George. Amala Jainti, Computer Science. Deepa Anbarasi, Computer Science. Dhanalakshmi M. Computer Science. Saranya Vijay in Computer Science. From the School of Arts and Social Sciences, Department of English, Matilda Jansi J. Sangavi K. English. Manjupriya S. English. From the Department of Tamil, Manjula M. Jyoti Mani J from Tamil. From the Department of Hindi. From Department of Tamil, Jyoti Mani J is receiving the award. From Hindi, Densi George. Department of Hindi, Shri Vidya PV. Counseling Psychology, Sudha R. From the School of Commerce and Management, Department of Commerce, Priyanka U. School of Education, Department of Special Education, Manjula K. Department of Special Education, Sitara Jaya. Indu Chako from Special Education. From the School of Engineering, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Bhavani G. Divya James from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. In Electronics and Communication Engineering, K.V. Archana. And Kirtika N. from Electronics and Communication Engineering. Thank you. Let the candidates be now presented from the School of Home Science. Let the candidates rise up. Respected Chancellor, I have the honor 
to present unto you the candidates for Master of Science, Master of Social Work, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Occasional Degrees in the School of Home Science who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive their respective degrees. A total of 170 postgraduates, 309 UG students, 13 PG diploma students may be admitted into the School of Home Science. Let the candidates be now presented from the School of Biosciences. Let the candidates rise up. Respected Chancellor, I have the honor to present unto you the candidates for the Master of Science and Bachelor of Science degrees in the School of Biosciences who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the respective degrees. A total of 82 postgraduates and 179 undergraduates may be admitted into the School of Biosciences. Let the candidates be now presented from the School of Physical Sciences and Computational Sciences. Let the candidates rise up. Respected Chancellor, I have the honor to present unto you the candidates for the Master of Science, Master of Computer Applications, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Computer Applications, and Bachelor of Vocation Degrees in the School of Physical Sciences and Computational Sciences who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the respective degrees. A total of 135 postgraduates and 335 undergraduates may be admitted into the School of Physical Sciences and Computational Sciences. Let the candidates be now presented from the School of Arts and Social Sciences. Let the candidates rise up. Respected Chancellor, I have the honor to present unto you the candidates for the Master of Science, Master of Arts, Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts degrees in the School of Arts and Social Sciences who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive their respective degrees. A total of 107 postgraduate degrees, 280 undergraduate degrees and 4 PG diplomas may be admitted into the School of Arts and Social Sciences. Let the candidates be now presented from the School of Commerce and Management. Let the candidates rise up. Respected Chancellor, I have the honor to present unto you the candidates for the Master of Business Administration, Master of Commerce, Bachelor of Commerce, and Bachelor of Business Administration degrees in the School of Commerce and Management have been duly certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the respective degrees. A total of 203 postgraduates and 454 undergraduates may be admitted into the School of Commerce and Management. Let the candidates be now presented from the School of Education. Let the candidates rise up. Respected Chancellor, I have the honor to present unto you the candidates for the Master of Education, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Physical Education degrees in the School of Education who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the respective degrees. A total of 14 postgraduates and 212 undergraduates may be admitted into the School of Education. Let the candidates be now presented from the School of Engineering. Let the candidates rise up. Respected Chancellor, 
I have the honor to present unto you the candidates for the Master of Engineering, Bachelor of Engineering, Bachelor of Vocation degrees in the School of Engineering who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive their respective degrees. A total of 12 postgraduates and 147 undergraduates may be admitted into the School of Engineering. All the candidates are requested to rise. By virtue of the authority, all the candidates are requested to rise. By virtue of authority vested in me as Chancellor of the Avanasalika Institute for Home Science and Higher Education for Women, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Master of Science, Master of Social Work, Master of Computer Application, Master of Business Administration, Master of Commerce, Master of Arts, Master of Education, Master of Engineering, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Computer Application, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Physical Education, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Engineering, and Bachelor of Vocation, in the respective schools of this institution and in token thereof. You have been presented with those degrees and I authorize you to wear the robes ordained by the insignia of your degree. Please remain standing and repeat the pledge that will be administrated now. I hereby solemnly declare and promise, and promise that, that I, will I will in my thoughts, in my thoughts words, words and deeds uphold the great ideals of the Avana Selingham Institute for home science and higher education for women, namely simplicity, I thinking. Indian culture, Indian culture, spiritual values, spiritual values service, to service to the community, particularly to the poor, to the poor and downtrodden, down national, national integration, and academic excellency. You may now be seated. I dissolve the convocation. Good morning, everybody. Namaste and Vanakam. With the blessings of Guru Maharaj, our founder president, Padma Bhushan, Dr. T.S. Avinash Lingam Ayya Avargal, and mentor and first vice chancellor, Dr. Rajamal P. Devadas Amma Avargal. Today is the cause for great celebration and immense gratitude to all those who have collectively contributed to the success of our students. I am honored to thank our revered chancellor, Dr. T.S.K. Meena Chisundaram Anna Avargal, for your presence and delivering an inspiring presidential address. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Exceptional in adaptability, unassuming in personality, a change maker in UGC, 
and a practitioner in teaching and research, is the chief guest of today's grand convocation, Dr. M. Jagdesh Kumar. We value every moment of your stay here, sir. And on behalf of our Avinashilingam Education Trust and our institution deemed to be university, we thank you for the active student interaction program this morning and for your valuable convocation address, especially on the Agni 5 missile and the project director and quality education to be offered with skills. And you have pointed out the statistics on women taking part in 40% in the place of STEM. And also, you have said an important word that whole world is for you to explore. Thank you very much, sir. My sincere thanks to respected Vice Chancellor, Madam, Dr. Bharati Harishankar, for, every, for guiding every minute detail of this convocation. We wholeheartedly thank you, Madam, for all the guidance, welcome address, and presentation of the Institute's report. Thank you, Madam. We thank immensely the honorable members of the Executive Council and the respected members of the Avinashilingam Education Trust for your guidance and continued support. Thanks are also due to academic council members for guiding us in academic matters and for your presence. We thank all the medal sponsors, well-wishers, chair professors in the name of our Ayya Avargal, Amma Avargal and Chinnaya Avargal and Ombudsman for the Institute for all your presence. I would like to thank the deans of various schools for presenting the candidates to receive their degrees and directors, coordinators, deputy deans for your presence, and especially Dean Student Affairs and her efficient team for the student interaction conducted ably today. I wholeheartedly thank the fully dedicated team of Assistant Registrar Academic and Controller of Examinations and Assistant Controller of Examinations and the entire team who have worked day and night meticulously towards the certificates and the degrees for the convocation. Let's give a big hand. I owe my gratitude to the conveners overall for the 35th convocation, Dr. Jerina B. from IQAC, Dr. K. S. Shanti, Department of Zoology, Dr. Nirmala Devi, Department of Biochemistry, and the conveners of 54 committees and the subcommittee members for the convocation for their swift day and night task. My appreciation to all of you on behalf of our institution. I sincerely thank Dr. Meena, Computer Center in charge, and Dr. Shanmuga Priya, Department of IT, and the entire technical team for the live streaming of the program and all other technical audio video committees who are responsible for taking the photos and videos in all the sectors. Thank you all. I thank our finance officer, public relations officer, and assistant registrar administration for their continued support. I thank the members of the media and press who are licensing the university, a deemed to be university, and the society at large. I thank the NCC ANOs, NCC volunteers for their impressive parade, and other student volunteers who have helped us in conducting this 35th convocation. Thank you all. Graduation is a testament of the collective effort of parents, friends, stakeholders, and teachers. Dear parents, on behalf of our trust and institution, I take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your presence and blessing the candidates. Thank you all. My appreciation to my dear students who have come from all over India, far and wide, making your presence. And I wish you carry home the message of our Honorable Chancellor and our Honorable Chief Guest today. My dear graduates, today is the day of your celebration. I wish you add feathers in your academics and personal life in the years to come. Let's together treasure memories. Thank you, one and all. Namaste, Jai Hind, Vanakkam.
Let's raise for the national anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Utkala, Banga, Vindhya, Himachala, Yamuna, Ganga, Uchala, Jaladhita, Ranga, Tava, Shubha, Nami, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Ashish, Maage, Gahe, Tava, Jaya, Gadha, Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Graduates Graduates and audience will remain standing Graduates and audience will remain standing until the congregation procession returns. Thank you. <laughs> 